Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can add multiple tabs inside the Ionic 4 project. So if we click on that tabs link, we can see we have that tab 1, 2 and 3 pages here. And then if we click on test link, we have that three different tabs here. And then we have that different contact page here. And inside of the tab, we have that tab 1 page. So let's get started. So we can start by creating a new Ionic application. So we can type Ionic start, then the name of the application and I will use the name my app. And then we can specify the template and I want to use a side menu template. And at last we can specify the type and I will specify the type equal to angular because I want to generate an angular project. So now we can press enter. So now this will go ahead and create a new Ionic project. And now it is installing the dependencies. So it might take some time. So I will be back when it finishes. Now the project is finished installing. So now we can go ahead and then open our project inside the code editor. So I have opened the project inside the VS code. So the first step is we can go to terminal and then new terminal and then we can run the application by typing ionic serve. So this will build our project for the first time and then it will open the project inside the browser. So here you can see the project with the side menu template. So we have these home and list menus on the side and then here on the right we have the content. So if we right click and then click on inspect or we press F12 on the keyboard. So this will open the developer console and then we can click on this toggle device toolbar and then we can see our project inside of any emulator of our choice. So I'm using pixel 2 here. Now we will start by creating a first tab bar in our project. So inside the code editor, we can click on this plus sign. So this will create a new terminal window and then we can generate couple of pages. So we can write ionic generate page and then the page I want to first generate is tabs page. This will be the main page that will be responsible for showing the tabs. So now we can press enter here. So this will go ahead and then generate this page for us. And now here we can see the files this has created and if we go to source app and then tabs we can see the page or this module created here. Now I want to generate couple of more pages so we can add ionic generate page and then I want to first generate the tab one page. And next I want to generate tab two page. And at last I want to generate the tab 3 page. So I will use this tab 1, 2 and 3 pages to show different tabs inside of the tab page. So now we can remove and close this terminal window. These errors will go away in just a moment. So now we can close the terminal here and then we can go to tabs module page. So here we can add the routing for our tabs. So what we can do is first we can go to our app routing module.ts and then we can remove these additional paths. So we don't need to lazy load tab 1, 2 and 3 inside of app routing module here. So we just need that path for the tabs page. And now we can go back to our tabs.module.ts and here we can see we have that path equal to that empty string. So now this will correspond to the tabs page because we have already defined path tabs here in the root. And now we can go ahead and add additional routes. So here we can add additional property called children and that will be of an array. And here we can specify our maybe tab one path. So again we can add our children and here we can add a path for our tab one root. So now we can load 
the children property here so this will go one step up and then we want to go to our tab one page and inside of that we want to use tab one module and then the class name of that module so that will be tab one page module okay so if we go to tab one and then tab one module dot ts and we scroll down to the bottom and here we can see this class name that we want to use all right so we can close it and additionally we can add couple of more paths here so we can actually copy it and then we can paste it all right so we have to add comma here and so this will be uh, tab 2 so we can actually remove it here and then we want to use the last tab as tab 3 all right and at last we can add the default route so what we can do is we can add path and then we can redirect it to tabs slash tab one so this will open the first tab so i will add path match equal to full all right so if we want to open the second tab first so we can add tab two here all right we can also add this path here in the root and now we can save it actually don't need that additional comma here so here we can save it and now we can go to tabs page dot html here and here we can remove the additional boilerplate and then we can write iron tabs all right and in here for creating a single tab we will add iron tab bar and then we will add slot equal to bottom so that it will show the tabs on the bottom and inside of the iron tab bar we can add iron tab buttons so this will be iron tab button and then we can add tab equal to tab one for the first tab so now this corresponds to our first route so this one all right and in here we can add iron icon first and i want to use the flash icon for the first tab so you can look for different icons that are available on the ionicons.com and at last we can add the label for that tab that will be maybe let's add tab one here all right so similarly we can duplicate it a couple of times for adding additional tabs so that will be tab two and then the icon I want to use for tab 2 is apps and then the label I want to use here is tab 2 and then for the last tab I want to use tab 3 here and then the icon name I want to use is sent and then here we can add tab 3 and now we can save it and now we can go to app component.html and actually we can go to app component.ts and here inside of app pages we can add the route for our tabs so we can actually copy it and paste it and maybe let's add the title equal to tabs and the url i want to go is slash tabs and let's use icon list for now so we can save it and then we can open the terminal and maybe let's restart the server so we can add ionic server again so let's close the other window and here we can see we have that tab selected here so if we click on tabs so you can see we have that tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 here here the tabs are not looking the way we expect them to do so maybe let's look at the code so we can go to maybe tabs page.html so here we can see we have repeated iron tab bar maybe a couple of times we just wanted to repeat iron tab button so we can actually remove these tabs so we just want to close that iron tab bar at the bottom only so i think this should fix it so we can save it and now here in the browser we can see we have that tab one 
tab 2 and tab 3 and then here we can see that title is changing so maybe let's try changing the content inside of any tab so we can actually close this terminal and then we can go to tab 1 page.html here so maybe let's add h1 for uh, this is tab 1 title all right and maybe then we can copy it and then paste it inside of tab 2 maybe let's change it to tab 2 title and maybe for the tab 3 we can add this is tab 3 title all right so now we can see we have tab 3 selected and then we can see this is tab 3 title and then we have tab 2 this is tab 2 title so tab 1 so we are seeing that content for the different tabs so now this solves our problem of adding one tab inside of the ionic project so to add the another tab what we can do is we can generate one more page and then we can follow the similar steps so let's see how we can do that so we can start by generating a new page similar to the tabs page so we can click on new terminal and then we can type ionic generate page and maybe let's name it test okay so what we can do is we can use the same pages that tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 and then we can add these tabs inside of that test page so now we can actually close it and what we can do is we can maybe close that windows that we don't require all right maybe let's collapse this so we can go to source app and then test and here in the test module so we want to add that routing so we can actually copy the routes from that tabs module maybe we can actually copy the entire routes so here we can copy this code and inside of test module we can paste it and similarly we can go to that tab page.html so we can copy it and then we can paste it inside of test page.html all right so we can see that red line inside of test module so what we can do is i think we have an error so if we scroll up we can see we have that tab page error because we haven't imported that so we can click here and then import that page so now we can save it so this should fix that error and now the last step is we can go to our app component.ts and here we can add that test path so here for the title i can add test all right for the routing i can also use test and we can keep the icon list so we have that routing defined inside of app routing module so that's why i'm using that test so now we can restart our server maybe close it and let's add ionic server again so we can close the other tab and then we can click on that test uh, so nothing happened so that means we have some error so we can press f12 here so then we can see inside the console component tab space is not part of any ng module so we can go to our code editor i think i know what the error is so we can close terminal here and maybe then we can go to the test module so we are currently importing the tabs page here so this should be the test page all right and then at the bottom this should be maybe test and again this should be the test and now inside the browser we can actually swipe it from left to right or we can maybe close this and now we can click on test so we can see we are going to that test slash tab 1 all right so tab 2 and tab 3 and when we click on tab so this is tab slash tab 1 so this is not visible that much because we are using the same pages so maybe let's try adding uh, one different page so it makes sense so maybe let's open the terminal here and then we can maybe add a contact page so we can add ionic 
generate page so contact and maybe let's close the terminal now when it is generated so now we can close it and for that and for the path maybe tab 1 I want to open uh, so that will be contact and then contact module maybe if you see here this one and maybe if we go to contact module dot ts we can actually copy this class so then we can paste it here and maybe if we want we can also change the path here so if we maybe change it to the contact so we have to change it at the bottom also because this is a default path here so we can maybe save it so this should maybe work fine now maybe let's add some content in the contact page so we can open contact page dot html so maybe let's add maybe h1 this is the contact page okay so we can save it now so for that tab slash tab 1 we are getting tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 and if we click on test so we are going to test slash contact uh, there is one slight problem because the tab 1 is not activated because we are yet to change our template so maybe let's fix it quickly so we can open our test page dot html and this will go to the not that third one the first one will be that contact page that we have just added so now we can see our tab one is activated so inside of tabs we have that tab one tab two and tab three tabs and inside of that test page we have that tab one but this is opening that contact page and then tab 2 and tab 3 are similar with the one inside of tabs page so this is how you can add multiple tabs inside of ionic 4